and welcome to Cozy Con's first ever Cotter's Block Shop Weekend. Just this weekend, we have more than 100 block shops participating. Check this out. Cozy Cots feature for one of our blockshop owners who displays very exquisite finds over here at Cozy Cots first ever Cotters Blockshop Weekend. And here with us we have Michelle, and Michelle is the owner of StyleDemzo.com. Michelle, tell us more about the products that you have here. Okay, basically, um, I'm the designer for Style Damsel and we actually have, um, today we only brought down um, a, an arm of Style Damsel, it's called Style Guni, we range, whereby we actually go around sourcing for like other designers from around the world and to bring in the products and also like other people who are like collectors, like vintage collectors, they actually brought um, their products with us and we sell it for them. Right, you were mentioning um, from all over the world, which are some of the countries represented here in your products? Okay, you have um, over here, we have uh, things from uh, UK and like from um, the States. And then we have some accessories here um, from Vietnam. These are actually made out of bamboo um, stems. They kind of like, the designer kind of twist them into like butterfly shapes. And we have this um, done by my very own partner, handmade by her. And um, we also have um, other range like this are from Hong Kong. And this is like our very own style damsel product, which today we only brought like very limited stuff out. So you mentioned that you are the designer. So does it mean that you design your collections at Style Damsel from scratch? Yes, of course. We actually source our fabrics all over the world, and we actually have um, do our own drafting and sewing, and then it, everything is made in Singapore. So exactly, what is your passion or interest? Why do you create Style Damsel? My passion is really to share um, one of a kind, exquisite wares to everybody who can afford, like you know, designer wear, you know, once once in a lifetime kind of thing. And we really want to bring it um, to the masses, but without making it to um, mass production kind of thing. Yeah. So that means simple, exquisite, but not commercialized. That means that you'll be one of a kind. You'll be caught dead wearing the same things in the street with somebody else. So can I just find out what? was the most challenging thing that you faced when you started up Style Denzel? Mm, it's really maybe to get people to know us and you know to really trust in our designs and also to, um, to really find people to actually appreciate our things and buy and then really it's only afterwards when we realise that people actually really do love our designs you know appreciate the things that we've done and they actually support local talent and that's where we actually find it's really fruitful and we are very grateful for that. Wow. Thank you very much for sharing with us your heartfelt thoughts. Do check out stylethemzoo.com for more rare finds in here. Thank you, Michelle. Here's another powerful Cozy Cart feature and here with me, we have Joanne and Carmen, both the owners of High Life. And you can see that they totally love whatever they are selling, that they're even brandishing their logo and brand name on their arms. So ladies, tell us more about High Life. Uh, well, it actually started because we both love shopping and one day we just like, like want to like have all this online shopping yeah. store. And actually we started with when um, in school where we actually sold all these pieces to our own friends. Mm -hmm. So slowly yeah. we actually went on to explore um, starting our website and then like just incorporating everything together into like um, like doing newsletters and stuff just to mail us and just to like keep our customers in the loop of what's going on. Wow. I hear that you both ladies have got wonderful plans of expanding this not just locally but internationally as well. Yes of course actually we're actually looking at um, we're starting off locally but after which we're actually um, thinking about doing it you know going going overseas and importing our goods so that's how we actually you know stay stay ahead of everybody else, hoping, hoping yeah. to stay ahead of everybody else. Yeah, it's been a, lot, a very fun journey, yeah. Well, I can see that they are really starting us out on the high life because I bought a piece as well. Can you just tell me something that is the most enjoyable starting high life? Mm, I guess it's more of like, because I like to do all the creative stuff, yeah. so kind of like incorporate it. And for her, she likes to take pictures, so she goes ahead and <laughs> take pictures. Yeah. So, so far, what is the toughest challenge that you both have faced? Well, we, 
Yeah, because like uh, right now I think there are a lot of online shops as well. So it's just like setting us apart from the rest, yeah, I guess. Yeah, what is our unique selling point? Deciding what we actually want to do and, you know, um, fine-tuning it. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So personally, which is your favourite item here from High Life? Ta-da! <laughs> My favourite. <laughs> okay, so how much is this going for? Well, this is actually going for 28 but we give special price. Yeah. To our special customers. <laughs> Okay, so for those of you who are now listening in, make sure that you join us for more special finds because High Life is going to bring you more exciting deals coming out.